everyone, my name is Amber, welcome back to my channel. This is my June TBR. None of this is set in stone as usual because first of all I'm a mood reader and secondly I'm going on holiday in June and I'm going to Corfu for a week and my goal there is to just entirely mood read and just read whatever takes my fancy at the time. I'm going to take my Kindle with me and I'll go over the Kindle books that I'm thinking about possibly reading, the ones that are currently on my radar with you at the end of the video but for now let me show you my physical TBR books because I will be taking some of those with me as well because I just can't help myself and I do actually have space in my suitcase I've already started packing there's some space there so I'm fine okay so starting off because I am going to Greece I have told myself that I want to read a couple of myth retellings not that these are necessarily set on Corfu but I thought it would be fun so the first one I'm going to read is The Silence of the Girls this has been on a few TBRs so far and I have actually started it I think I got about 50 pages in and I was really really enjoying it so I can't believe I haven't finished this off by now so this is going to be top of my list. I think I'm going to love it and then if I really like this one I can also read the sequel which is The Women of Troy. So this is another retelling of the Trojan War. The main character Briseis, Briseis is kidnapped by the Greek soldiers and she is made to be a bed slave to Achilles who everyone knows. I don't know who the second book follows but if I like this one enough I'm just going to get the second one on my Kindle and read it straight after because I really am in the mood for some Greek myth retellings and this one is top of my list. And then I did have some other options because I have a lot of Greek myth retellings on my shelf but what I've decided to pick up is The Wolf Den. This is one that also has a sequel that came out fairly recently I think and I did also start this one a while back. I think I read the first chapter and it wasn't exactly what I expected. It just doesn't fit my Greek theme so maybe I'll just have to pick another book. But anyway I do want to read this because it's been on my TBR for a while. This is about a woman called Amara who I believe is a slave in a brothel in Pompeii and I think it's probably about her buying her freedom or trying to escape or something. Like I said the first chapter was not that good <laughs> I have to admit and it really put me off reading this but I think what I'm going to do is just kind of like binge the entire thing and then maybe carry on with the sequel if I do end up enjoying it. If not then I'm already half expecting to not like it so I'm not going to be too upset. I remember when I first picked it up I was really really excited for this one so I was super upset when it didn't work out but I'm going to give it another go and hopefully really really enjoy it. And then moving on I do have a couple of thriller books that I want to read and I tend to read thriller books on holiday because they're really quick reads perfect for by the swimming pool. So the first one <laughs> is Hostage by Claire McIntosh. This is about people being taken hostage on an airplane and that may be a questionable thing to read while I'm on holiday. I don't even know if I can take this on the plane. <laughs> I'm not gonna notice, I'm joking. I don't know loads about this one because it's a thriller and I don't read synopses for thrillers, but I think it's about a flight attendant who is on the first ever non-stop trip from London to Sydney and then something goes wrong on the plane. There are bad people around or something. I read Falling last year or the year before, which was another thriller set on an airplane and I really, really enjoyed it. So I'm really looking forward to trying this one out. I might save it for like the middle of my trip so that I don't read it too close to being on an airplane or I might just wait until later on in June. I also really want to pick up These Fleeting Shadows by Kate Alice Marshall. So she is one of my all time favorite authors at this point. She's so, so good. And I've read all of her books bar this one. Once I have read this one, I will be doing a video on which of her books I think is best. I think she's also got a book coming out in summer this year so i'm thinking maybe i can time the release of my video to the release of that i'll have to look into it maybe her books on net galley i don't know i'm gonna have to look into it i have no idea what this one's about i think it's a family or a girl inherits stuff from a grandparent and her ya books this is ya always have some sort of horror or paranormal element as well apart from i'm still alive but i'll talk more about that in my kate alice marshall video regardless i'm really looking forward to this one like i said i love her writing so this is basically a five star prediction at this point i think i'm going to love it swinging back around we have an adult romance book and that is Loathe to Love You. These are a bunch of novellas by Ali Hazelwood and I've really enjoyed all of the books that I've read by her so far but I haven't read her short stories yet. So what I'm thinking of doing is I'm going to read maybe one short story a month or every few weeks from this book. I think there are three of them in total and I typically don't do too well with short stories but because it's an author that I know that I enjoy I think I'll be okay with this collection as long as I don't read them back to back because that's often my issue is that I read them too closely together and I get sick of them. I think one of these is set in the arctic so i'm not going to read that in june because that's definitely more of a you know winter thing one is set in new york and it's about someone who gets stuck on an elevator or in an elevator with someone and then the other one is about having a roommate from hell so i'll be picking one of those two either under one roof or stuck with you and then i'll leave below zero for a little bit later on in the month unless i'm really in the mood to read it which i might be who knows and then we have some ya fantasy books that i've been meaning to read for ages the first one is walk on earth a stranger by ray carson i've read some books by her before the first two 
books in a different trilogy and I really enjoyed them. And this one is a fantasy book, I think set in our world, and it's about someone who can detect gold under the earth. I think this is a very rare skill for the main character to have, and so she's kind of in hiding and she has to flee at some point and go to California. If I enjoy this one, which I'm really hoping that I will, I'm hopefully going to marathon this series. It sounds really good, it sounds like something that I will love, and like I said, I've really enjoyed books by this author before, so I'm expecting to really enjoy this one. It should be a really quick read because it's YA. Another YA fantasy book I'm hoping to read is Redemptor, which is the sequel to Raybearer, and this will mean that I'm finishing off the duology, which is a goal of mine this year to read more series and finish them off. I haven't heard the best things about this one. Raybearer got some really rave reviews, and everyone seemed to love it, and then no one really spoke about this one much, and the people who I have seen talking about it didn't love it as much as they loved the first one. So I'm not sure if I'm going to love this one. I can still remember quite a bit of the first book, which is about a young girl called Tarasai, whose mother is some sort of like witch or sorceress and she has beef with the rulers of the kingdom and she sends Tarasai, her daughter, to kind of infiltrate them for one reason or another and kind of bring them down I guess. I don't really know what to expect from this one but I'm looking forward to reading it and these covers are actually really fun. I don't actually own the first book anymore, I did give it away because it wasn't an all-time favourite and I had at that point limited space on my shelves but maybe if I love this final book I will repurchase it because maybe it will be an all-time favourite series. I doubt it but maybe. And then I have a couple of YA books that I want to read the first chapter for and then decide if I do want to finish it off. The book, not the series. So the first one is Finding Sky. This is a really old school YA book. It came out in 2010 and I don't know if this author has written anything else and I've actually got no idea what it's about. I just picked it up because everyone was hauling it at the time that I started booktubing so I figured I would as well. So I'm going to read the first chapter, see if I like it and then finish it off if I do and then just get rid of it if I don't because it's sat on my shelf for long enough at this point. I don't need to hold on to it. And then the second way that I'm going to try a chapter of is The Oathbreaker's Shadow. This is by Amy McCulloch who is currently writing adult thrillers and I really enjoyed her first one which was Breathless. That doesn't sound right but I'm fairly sure it was called Breathless. And she's bringing out another one called Mid night this year which I'll talk about later but she actually started in YA fantasy and I don't really know what this one's about yeah something about a warrior a traitor and a savior but I've heard that this series is really really good although underrated so I'm actually quite excited to read this one and I'm glad that I'm finally getting around to it and trying the first chapter because again I've had this one for ages I actually got this one signed and personalized and I don't know when <laughs> Maybe at Yauk? I can't actually remember. But that's apparently something that I did. And then the final physical book I'd really like to read is Paradise One. This is sci-fi horror. This is about Earth's first deep space colony, which stops all communication one day and people have to go and find out why they went dark. But this sounds very good. I'm really into space horror at the moment, so I'm really looking forward to reading this one. I kind of just bought it on a whim because I saw someone talking about it on booktube, but now that I have it in my hands, I'm really excited to try to read it. So that's it for my physical TBR this month. I might add some rereads in there because I'm really enjoying rereading old school books at the moment, but I don't want to commit to too much because of my holiday. My main source of reading is definitely going to be my Kindle for the first couple of weeks. So I'm just going to quickly tell you which books I have from NetGalley that I want to read. The first one is Midnight by Amy McCulloch. This is a thriller set in Antarctica. I don't know anything else about it. I don't need to. I think I'm going to really enjoy this one and this is going to be a really good one for me to read on holiday. I also recently got 27 Minutes which is a thriller book about, I think it's set in a small town. I don't really know what it's about to be honest. I think the main character lost a best friend and a brother on the same night. He went missing and the best friend was killed from what I can remember from the synopsis, so I'm looking forward to that one. I'm also really looking forward to reading Will They or Won't They, which is coming out in June this year. So this one sounded like it was Neon fan fiction. <laughs> If you've seen The Vampire Diaries, then you know. It says here that it's about two co-stars with a complex history reunite to film the final season of a beloved paranormal drama in this tension-filled will they or won't they romance from the author of How to Fake It in Hollywood. And if that does not sound like Neon to you, then you're rewriting history because it's exactly like Neon. I'm going to stop talking about Neon now because it's just going to get embarrassing. I also have The Seven Year Slip by S. Ashley Poston, author of The Dead Romantics and other things. This one is coming out in July this year. It says that this one is about an overworked book publicist with a perfectly planned future hits a snag when she falls in love with her temporary roommate, only to discover that he lives seven years in the past. So this sounds like a time travel -y sort of timey-wimey book, but a romance book, and I really like timey-wimey stuff, so that's why that's on high up on my list. I also have The Villa by Rachel Hawkins, that's coming out in the UK later on this month, or maybe it's already out, I can't remember. I've also got The Honeymoon by Kate Gray. This one comes out in July, and it's another thriller book. It says, 
two happy couples, one dead body, a whole load of secrets. Married life wasn't meant to start like this. And I think it's set in Bali. And then I also have The Whispers by Ash Ashley Audrain, who wrote The Push, which I really, really enjoyed. I don't actually know anything about this one at all. It's coming out in July as well. And I'm really looking forward to reading it because I really liked the author's other book. So those are some of my options, but I do obviously have a lot more net galley books. I just wanted to mention these ones because these are highest on my list. I do think I can read at least one of two of them on the plane, so one on the way there and one on the way back. It doesn't take me long to read thrillers. So I'm thinking I can get through at least like five books in this week-long holiday. That might be a bit ambitious, but I'm not planning on doing much. <laughs> I'll let you know how I get on when I get back. Wish me luck. <laughs> Otherwise, that's it. Let me know what you'll be reading in June, if you've got any plans or if you'll just be mood reading. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I'll speak to you all in the next one. Bye!